Isn't that a nice song? I'm a big fan. That was from Uncharted Waters Online. It's the it's one of the ocean themes. So if anybody has any familiarity with Uncharted Waters, it's essentially a sailing simulator, trading, piracy, privateering, that sort of thing. Came back on the NES years ago. But then they made a, a um, an MMO out of it. So it became an MMO in like 2005. And this is one of the songs from it. It's it's one of the sailing ocean themes. I'm pretty nostalgic nostalgic for it. Because I played, not when it first came out, but when it was first released in the U.S. Um, I was one of the first people on. Now, I only played it for... Um, like a month, maybe two months. Uh, I was playing with a friend back then. I think this was in maybe 2009, maybe something like that. But still, that's over 11 years ago. So it was pretty. It was pretty hype when it came out. It was a lot of fun. My first MMO, like my first real MMO. My computer could run it. That was exciting. Of course, I only had a limited number of hours because I was still really young. Um. But, yeah, I remember waking up one morning and going playing Uncharted Waters online first thing in the morning. And I ran. I was, I was running in the in the harbor. And I ran past this dude. It turned out to be my good friend that I started playing with. We just so happened to cross paths. Out of everybody that was playing the game, it was me and him. We just ran past each other. We didn't even notice. And then we turned around and we were like, oh, you're on at like 7 a.m. It was tight. Those were the days. They really were. Uh, hope everybody's doing well. Let's let's get a backdrop going in here. Mm, I wonder how I would do it. Properties. Customize placeholder. Here we go. All right. So today, I think what we're going to do, well, actually, I, I know what we're going to do. We're going to start off, at least I know the beginning. We're going to start off with something unique. We're in just chatting. If you notice, we're not doing Destiny or Final Fantasy right off the bat. We're going to, oh, look, my hair's a little bit invisible. Very cool. Um, let's fix that really quick, really quick. Because those cow legs are peeping through. Hmm. How's that look? A little bit blurry, but it could be much worse. It could be much, much worse. Mm, I can live with it. So, so today we're going to start off with something different. As you guys might know, I'm a big fan a big fan of coffee and coffee accessories, coffee enthusiasts maybe. I like trying different types of coffee. So when I moved to the Philly area, I wanted to find a local roastery that, that you know roasts their own coffee beans and because that's how you get the most fresh beans is you buy local, right? And then you're supporting the community, the small coffee scene, that sort of thing. So it was something that was really important to me. And although these guys might not be small, I found a company named La Colombe and they're coffee roasters, right? They, they work out of Philadelphia, um, so they're not small, but they have a great website. And part of what I like about them is they have some great, some great artwork, okay? So let, let me try to explain. So every month or every two months, basically seasonally, they'll change out the artwork that they have on their different types of coffees. So I'm on their website right now. And what I think personally is they have great artwork. It's a lot of it is pastel colors. It looks um, comfy feeling. It feels warm. It feels handmade. There's a lot to like about it. So what I wanted to do, uh, first things first, let's get, let's get some music on. 
I feel like Christmas music is nice um, because it's casual. And right now we're doing something casual. We're not, we're not very hardcore right now. Let's turn this way down. Way, way down. There. I, I noticed in one of my previous streams that the, the sound mixing was a little bit off, and I think that's because I leave the audio a little bit too loud. So it, it covers my voice a little bit more than I would want it to. So we're gonna keep it really low. And if you're wearing headphones, you can probably hear it all right. If you're not, well, that's too bad, but maybe it'll act as a little bit of subconscious distraction, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, so what I wanted to do today was look at their website and review all their different um, coffee art, the art that they have on their coffee boxes, just for fun. And then if, if we have more time, if we feel a little crazy, we can go over to their, their um, canned coffee, because they also sell canned coffee, uh, you know, like iced coffee, that sort of thing. We can go into there and we can look at what's on the front of those cans and we can review those as well. So we're gonna do this for a little while. We'll see how long it takes. I'm gonna open up a Google Docs and we're gonna start reviewing. We can do it together. We can, we can bounce ideas off of each other. Um, so the reason I had this idea in the first place is because I saw their new seasonal um, art. Now, I don't know if it's the same seasonal art they use every year or so, um, but I do think it's the art that they have chosen this year, clearly, because it's on the website. So we may as well start with that is, is kind of what I think. Let me pull this open to two windows and then I'll turn on display capture. And then we can start building this together. I'm gonna turn the song a little lower. Um, this works, this, this is good. It's a very comfy feeling. I wish I had a, a latte right now I could be drinking. I already had my espresso, espresso shot of the day. Let's turn on uh, screen capture. Give me one second, I have to set it up. What's it called? Display capture, here we go. This looks right. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I think we're all, oh wait, much better. Man, it's very frustrating when your green screen isn't cooperating. Okay, that's a little bit better. It's because of it's because of the lighting. I only have the one light source. Oh, let me try open a window a little bit more. Get more light in. That actually, that actually is a little bit better, right? It's 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 this side that needs a little bit more light. So let's try twisting this just a tad. Could be worse it could absolutely be worse although the more light is bringing out how uneven my hair is but well, it's no big deal of course it's curly hair it's gonna be a little bit unruly at times um why don't we start going through it let me let me i wonder if i make this bigger if it will center more but that's a little too much we could go through it like this okay that's that's definitely visible and then we'll be, let's set up over here. Hmm, like that. No, 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 we'll just do bigger fonts. Let's do it the real way. So, where are we gonna name it? Um, La Colombe, like that. Um, box art. Review. Um, should we do bullet points? Mm, no, let's go by name first. So we're gonna start with, it's called Winter Toast, okay? This is the first one on their lineup. This is their seasonal one. It's $14. We can't review what's actually, like what it tastes like because I haven't bought all of them or any of them. I take that back. I've bought two of them, but I haven't bought this one. 
So we're gonna start with winter toast. Winter toast. And can we zoom into the picture anymore? We have a couple, oh, here we go. So there's a lot of different images we can look at. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Yeah, this is good. I'm actually gonna, yeah, we'll just go down, back down to regular view. And we'll see if we can get any, hey, the first picture disappeared. All right, let's refresh, see if it comes back. Okay, it's back. This is getting cut off now, darn. Man, it's hard to manage two windows, isn't it? it certainly can be. All right, winter toast. What do we see here? I think we do have to zoom in just a little bit for optimal picture viewing. Mm, two men's clanking mugs. I think it's simple, and it's it's to capture a winter toast, right? They have snowflake broidery, like around the outside, and it looks like I'm not completely certain, but it looks like Christmas trees. They could just be arrows though, technically. And then the dove is their, the symbol for their coffee. So that's gonna be on all the boxes, so get used to seeing this. Um, this is kind of what I was talking about. It feels comfy, doesn't it? The coffee's also blue. The, the theme is blue and cold. I'm getting cold vibes from this. Um, roasted almonds, chocolate mousse, rum, cake. Pay attention to the words they use too. That's gonna play an important part in how we how we feel about the entire image and coffee if I were to ever try it. Uh, my palette, my coffee palette isn't as uh, refined as it could be. So I actually rely on these words a lot and I base the coffee off of how I feel the words fit it, right? So I'll, it, for example, it says rum cake. I'll taste the coffee. I'll see if I can evaluate what their rum cake is and I'll see how far or close it is to that description and that helps me refine my palette that's kind of how I think about it I haven't seen any reviews on how to refine a coffee palette but that's kind of how I go about thinking about it um, it's definitely got comfy points I kind of wish there was a little bit more going on than just the clinking um, but it's not bad I think I'm gonna give it maybe an 8 out of 10 uh, winter toast. They're toasting too, so the, the title makes sense with the image. Um, mm, it might be a seven, mm, seven and a half. Let's give it a seven and a half right now. Mm, it's very simple. It might be simple to a fault. Um, we'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 for now, and we might come back and change that. But that, that's our first review. We can check out the other pictures too. Uh, it's looking a little actually more blue in this picture. Uh, maybe because saturation was turned up. Um, but I think this is the most good depiction because of the shadows. It helps us judge with our eyes what it actually looks like. Okay. So winter toast, seven and a half. Now this is a coffee I've actually gotten before. This was the first coffee I think of theirs that I got. Um, damn. I gotta mute you, buddy. Sorry. What's, uh, what's the band command? Is there a perma band command? That'd be sick. No, it doesn't look like there's perma ban. What about just ban? Oh, permanently ban a user from chat. Okay, we'll do that. We hate bots here. Let's try it. There you go. Perfect. They're banned. Um, sorry, buddy. I just don't like bots in my chat. So this is actually the first coffee that I received. Um, and I got it because it says darker roast, but I think it's a dark roast, right? Uh, and they say when you're making espresso, you should be using a dark roast. It's a little bit easier to... to um, dial in a really good shot if you're using a dark roast rather than a light roast or even a medium roast they usually say dark roast is a bit easier and because i was just starting off 
I wanted to go with something a little bit easier to figure out. Now I can order uh, mediums or darks or whatever. Um, and I usually have a little bit of trouble dialing it in, but not so much. Okay. So we're going to go, we're going to look at this. Do they have any uh, bigger images? Doesn't really seem like it. And we don't want it in bulk. Okay, it looks like that first image is going to be our best bet. And we can try zooming up. It's not very in focus, is it? Like, I, I can only barely read this. It says Baker's Chocolate Red Wine and... Yeah, I actually can't even read that last word. Mm, okay, I spices. Which gener uh, general spices. Mm. Corsica. Well, it's got a gradient. That's the first thing I noticed, right? So it starts off white, it comes down, it comes down, it turns a little bit bluer, and then it looks like we have mountains in the background. Okay. Um, I'm actually a fan. I like the gradient. Uh, gradients, they went out of style um, years back, like in the 2010s. I think they're making a comeback, in all honesty. They look nice. I think this is a nice cover. I like the color of blue. I like the mountains. I think this is actually going to place higher than Winter Toast. And I like the white. And the dove is very clear, of course, because that's where it usually is. Um, this might be the only thing I have to knock it on. It might be that the text is too small, or I don't like this... I don't really like this blue border around the word Corsica. Mm, I think they could have done more with that with that spot. So, but I still think I might like it more than Winter Toast just because that gradient is so nice. And I like how it feels textured, textured. You might not be able to see this because it's compressed a little bit, but this feels very textured like a rough paper. I think that's very nice. So I'm going to actually give this, I think I'm going to give it an eight. Corsica is getting an eight out of 10. <laughs> and then once we get everything on this side, this side, I should say, um, we might come back and adjust basically basing each of the coffees or the art coffees off of the other art. So right now I'm kind of just doing a raw evaluation of what I think. I think we're gonna come back though and then reevaluate. So we already got the this coffee, right? So we can skip the bundle. And we can come to here. This is the Guatemala La Hermosa. Uh, a light roast. I've never had this one. It would probably be really good in a pour over. What's it say? Raspberry wine. Interesting. Dark chocolate and rose water. That's very interesting. Uh, something tells me this is a little bit not true because rose water seems a little bit too subtle for coffee, right? <laughs> Definitely too subtle. Mm, let's see what's going on here. So mostly a white background. Again, it looks like they use the same template here for the word. Um, I actually prefer it. I like how it's matching the sky here. Even if it's a little bit hard to read because it's it's white text on a light background, um, I think that's kind of what they were going for. Um, like it's part of the sky that these, they look like pyramids, right? Um, Guatemala, maybe they were going for like an Aztec kind of structure, uh, you know, that sort of thing. In fact, I'm, I'm sure that's what they were going for. And they have smoke, or what looks like smoke or clouds, billowing from the top. Um, it seems... Hmm. There's, there is a little bit of gradient, right? A little bit in the sky. So it starts off light blue here, and then it gets lighter up here towards the top. And then they have other various clouds. Um, hmm, this one's hard. I think this one's a difficult one. I don't know how well the pyramid colors fit in with the light blue of the sky. 
And you know, clearly the light blue of the sky is a big deal on the box because it's what this background is based around. Um, and I'm not just saying this because I've already given it two high ratings. I think that this is a, a little bit of a weaker arc design compared with the others. Mm. And just in general, I think the colors are kind of sporadic. You know, this is a different color from this, from this, from this. Even this part is a different color from this. Different text color. It seems a little bit sporadic. So we might have to go just like a five here. It's it's good, right? It's simple. It's nice. Um, simple shape design. Uh, it doesn't have the texture that I like from the last box, but that could just be because it's a little bit blurrier, these images. They're not as high, high res. So, I think we're going to give it a 5. Guatemala gets a 5 out of 10. It feels less put together. That's what it, That's what I'm trying to say. Like it had a little bit less of a theme. I'm gonna give it a five out of ten. Uh, we got the favorites box. It has something in it that we're probably gonna get to. Uh, I don't know. Oh, this is nice with the with the mug. This is a very nice box. Mm, here it is. Okay. Lion, a medium roast. With notes of caramel, coffee, and brownie. Okay, very simple. Probably a pretty generic tasting coffee, if I had to guess. Um, lion. It looks like, you, you guys remember the Dua Dot? Is that what it was called? Where you'd have the big marker looking thing and you would press down and it would make a dot of a certain color. It kind of looks like that. Or spotlights. Um, I think this is going to be another low rated coffee. I you know what it seems basic with the description and the art here feels basic so maybe they were going for something extra generic but nothing really stands out about this one what's this say up here is this a sticker that they put on or is this part of the art i'm uncertain two dollars of every box sold will support no kid hungry that's nice this is a little bit of a better image i think Mm, not mm, maybe it is a little bit clearer a little crisper yeah it's a little bit crisper because I can read toffee better here than in the other picture um, this is probably gonna be like a four and a half maybe um, I'm just not a fan of how simple it is they, they probably could have done a little bit more with varying. Uh, I mean, pastels are nice, right? But pastels will only get you so far when they're just blotchy over each other. I'm going to say it had a, only a little bit of inspiration, but not much else going for it. So what's it called? Lion? Lion, we're giving a... What do we say? Let's give it a four and a half. Because it's not necessarily bad, it's just very plain. And plain's not bad, it's just... I'm not crazy about the design, I don't like the ovals all that much. It doesn't speak anything about the coffee, which I assume is just generic. Like They, they didn't try to, to promote it with the image. Like, the reason I would get this, look how comfy this is. Look at this, uh, the nice mountains in the background, right? There's These have a lot going, especially this one. Yeah, no, it wasn't doing it for me. Also, maybe this, the No Kid Hungry threw me off a little bit because it's so, it's like a sticker plastered on top. Oh, okay, okay. I can get behind this one. Um, Niza? Something like that. Nizza? I don't know. I think it's Niza. Mm, they're going back to the gradient, like what we saw with Corsica. Mm, it looks like a honeycomb pattern, which 
I don't know if I'm necessarily a fan of, but I do like this pattern more than the, the dots, if you can call that a pattern. Um, with notes of milk chocolate, nuts, and brownie. Okay. So here we go. This is this is a good example of what I was talking about, right? Again, it's, it sounds like a very generic coffee. It's the same description as the last one. And basically the ingredients are the same. Brownie, I think, is something that the last one used to describe it. Chocolate is something that the last one used to describe it. But because it's got a, a background that feels more um, focused on something, honey is what I think of when I look at this. It makes me think, oh, well, this is going to be sweet. This is going to be uh, honey, uh, light, uh, sweet flavor, something like that. Um, and it makes me more interested in trying it. So automatically this is a better cover can we see anything else do we have any clearer pictures not really it is a medium roast the last one was a medium roast this says i think it says filter so like it's specifically made for this type of coffee pour over type thing i think it says filter it's, it's simple gradient it's got like a pinkish, yellowish. When I first saw it, it seemed yellow. Now it seems a little bit more pinkish. Back to the first one. Oh, these are a little bit different, actually. This is a warmer color than this. Slightly. It's a very slightly warmer color. So, either way, either way. It's simple, and I don't like it as much as Corsica even though it's got the nice gradient. I'm gonna give it a, I think I'm gonna give it a six. Six out of 10. I'll give it a 6.5. I wasn't sure if I wanted to give it the 0.5, but I think, I think it's bumped up to the 6.5. So this is simple working in a positive way rather than the negative way of this, which was too simple, too generic. Mm -hmm. This is a sampler. We're going to skip over that and check out this one. Micro lot. I don't know what that is. Okay. It seems like we've kind of figured out what their generic, not their generic, but their regular um, coffee design is going for, right? White at the top, gradient as you get down. Um, it chooses a color. In this case, it's gonna be like a purplish, pinkish kind of color. And then a design over that. So I'm actually a big fan of that layout. I'm a big fan of that layout. Um, so let's, let's look at it. What's it got? Marmalade, interesting, dark chocolate. What's this? I, I can't quite see it. Hey, big man, how's it going? Welcome to the coffee review extrava palooza. What did I, what did I name it? Something like that. Mm, how you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. And maple, it's got maple as well. It's an interesting choice. If they're saying it's got maple and marmalade, that they chose a pink color. Great, hey, I'm glad to hear it. I'm doing well. All's going good. I passed an exam for work last Saturday. So I think I have a lot more time to stream. Um, so it's been good. I've been back to streaming. I'm doing a review right now. We might do more reviews in the in the future. Um, I've been playing Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 14, which is an MMO. I don't know if you've heard of it. And then I've been doing Destiny again, which has been a lot of fun. But I thought we would do something different today. Um, we're going through the different arts for the boxes for this this local brewery, La Colombe. So I've already hit five of them. We're gonna keep going though. We have, we have a number left, a number of different boxes left. Uh, we gotta figure out what we wanna do for Sumatra. Mm, but I'm a fan, I'm a fan. I like the waves, okay? I don't know what micro lot is. Do we have anything in the description for Microlot? Uh, 
organic farming methods by woman-led cooperative of mostly woman producers, this complex selection delivers the rich earthy chocolate flavors for which Sumatra is famous. Hmm. I've tried some of them. I've tried Corsica, um, and then I tried last season's special coffee. Winter Toast is this season's special coffee. Um, last season's, what was it called? Something Halloween themed, and it was it was good. But yeah, I haven't tried most of them, but I've tried some of them. Um, oh, I forgot the name for the 6.5. Hold on. We got to go back. Niza, that's it. Like that. Okay. And now we're going to go back to... I actually, I prefer this to Niza. I like the fact that it's it's centered on the right. It looks a little bit like my my pre-stream um, text. That's what it reminds me of. So hold on. You see how starting soon was in the bottom right? That's kind of what this reminds me of. So I, I prefer this. And I like the color too. The color is more interesting than Niza's just yellowish or slightly warmish yellow. So I'm a fan. Um, the color here directly matches the color here. Maybe it's maybe it's a little bit darker, but I think I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. I think we're gonna give it a seven out of ten because I prefer it to Niza. All right, on to the next one. Uh, we can't do this because it's a sampler. El Salvador. Here we go. Really warm colors. Interesting. It doesn't even show any other images. Well, I guess the coffee is from El Salvador, right? That, that would just make the most sense. Really warm colors. This is interesting. So it does have the gradient. Um, a little less uh, gradual than the others, I think. But it could just be because it's got this image. Which maybe is a pattern popular in El Salvador. Something regional, that sort of thing. I tried using Streamlabs OBS the other day, but it's confusing. Yeah, it's confusing to get started. I just got Streamlabs OBS. For the entire duration of my streaming, I was doing um, regular OBS Studio. Uh, and then I wiped my windows because I was trying to fix some sort of bug error. And when I came back, I didn't have regular OBS. So what I decided to do was say, oh, well, you know what? There's no reason really to use OBS Studio. It doesn't have that much more customization, I don't believe, than Streamlabs OBS. And Streamlabs OBS is still being constantly updated just like OBS Studios. So why don't I just get, o or why don't I just get Streamlabs? Um, and it's been pretty tight so far. I've been using it for the past week or two weeks or some, something like that. And it's really tight. I'm enjoying it. There's not so much that it does differently than some of the other uh, OBS Studio. But it feels... I like the layout. I don't know how to show my screen. You want me to tell you? I'll show you. I can teach you. Um, so are you just using the default layout? Default layout being your screen is kind of up top. Underneath is the mini feed and then scenes, sources, and mixer. I don't know if you have it open right now, but I would be happy to teach you if you have it open. Mm. They kind of look like snowflakes, don't they? It makes me feel like it's like a tropical uh, winter. Not right now, I don't. Okay, well, I mean, take some notes because I'll just tell you right now. So you go down to scenes, you click the plus button where it says add new scene, or sorry, not scenes, sources. You go down to sources, you click the plus where it says add new sources. And then in your standard list, you'll have a number of different options. What you wanna do is you have three options. You got game capture, display capture, and window capture, okay? If you wanna capture just your screen and everything on it, you do display capture. If you wanna capture a certain window, so let's say uh, Google Chrome, you wanna capture one window in Google Chrome, you do window capture. If you want to capture your game, and this is optimized for games, maybe it takes the least amount of resources, maybe it, it stays out of the way the most, um, 
you would use game capture and a lot game capture can automatically find your game as well after you select one of those like let's say you choose game capture you're gonna realize it's not actually picking up a game so what you need to do is you need to right click where it says game capture and you have to go to properties right so you'll right click a whole lot of options will show up and properties will be one of them you click properties and then there will be a, a drop down in the next window where you want to select the window that you're going to be using okay so they'll, they'll be named like let's say you're doing destiny and you want to capture destiny you would have windows like Google Chrome OBS studios destiny.exe and then something else you would click destiny.exe and it would it would be discovered basically and that's how you would show your screen then it would show up on the screen of uh, of the OBS right so it, it's actually not so bad you just have to remember that if you want to choose a specific window it's good to go into properties and then to select that window so you can't really do properties with display capture you can just choose monitor one or monitor two but if you're doing window capture or you're doing uh, game capture you got to go into properties and select that specific game or window that you want to capture this one I'm, I feel conflicted you know I feel like it's going for something very regional and I feel like I might not be able to talk on that because I don't know about El Salvador but we can try our best uh, the borders plain right very plain it's a dotted line um, I'm actually not a fan of the dotted line look I, I don't think I'm feeling this very much in general maybe it's because it's too noisy there's a lot going on here with different colors the pattern is fairly complex um, there's a lot going on it feels like maybe what they should have done is spread it out through the gradient um, like maybe choose one of these and spread it out this way across the gradient. Mm. Yep, go to sources, click plus standard list. Plus standard list after selection, right click properties, drop down and select the windows you're using. Yeah, so it's you click on sources, you'll see a standard list of stuff that you can do. You can choose three to display your window that's display capture game capture or windows capture you're going to choose one of those and if you chose display cap or if you chose game capture or windows capture you have to go into properties and you get to properties by right clicking on that source that you just created it'll be in your source list you right click on that and properties and then you'll see more drop downs where you can select which window you actually want to use you got it. You got it. Uh, I'm, I'm not so much of a fan of this one. I think I'm probably going to give it... It might be lower than Lion. We'll have to compare the two later. Um, I think I'm going to give it a 4. I think I'm giving it a 4. It's really not doing it for me. Now, keep in mind, just because I'm giving it a low rating doesn't mean it's bad art. I'm. It's just comparatively not as strong as the others right so it doesn't mean like this art is worse than the majority of art ever created right <laughs> that's not what i'm saying um i'm gonna give it a four out of ten because it's too noisy and it, it's pattern based as well i'm not i'm not so crazy about the pattern based art i think it's a four out of ten and we'll come back and we'll compare it to Lion and see how we feel. Hey, that's another thing I've noticed. Lion is also somewhat pattern based and I'm not crazy about Lion. So we'll see. So we just finished this. We can't do the sampler. All right, here we go. Next one, Ecuador. Very nice. Oh, they actually have real names. I've just been using this name, but they have sub names. So La Balsa Bridge, it's lighter roast. I'm a big fan of this one, actually. I'm a big fan of this. Um, 
not the coffee, the design. So there's no gradient, right? So this one's a little bit different uh, than their regular typical uh, designs. You think eight out of 10? It might be an eight out of 10. Yeah, it, it, I think it is right up there with Corsica. You know what it reminds me of? It strangely reminds me of like Thomas the Tank Engine. I don't know, I'm getting very um, nostalgic vibes from it. I don't know, which is funny because I didn't watch too much Thomas the Tank Engine. Maybe it's the color choice or maybe it's, it's, it's got kind of a, kind of a story going with it, right? Big facts. Yeah. Are you sort of feeling what I'm feeling? There's like, it's like, it's telling them like a story. There's so much information in this one that isn't in the, in the previous ones because it's an actual image of something. I'm a big fan. It's so it's a bridge just like the name. So I like how that is put together. It, the thing is, it's strange because all the colors are very different from one another. You got these, these hot pinks, you have these cool blues, you got the, the greens over here, dark greens, the lines, the symmetry coming across, it is also symmetrical from what I can tell, except for maybe the grass. But I think that's also symmetrical. Yeah, this one might be a little bit lower, I'm not sure. And this color, which matches the actual bridge, I'm a fan. I think I think you're right. I think it's gonna be an eight out of ten. I maybe an, it might be an eight point five out of ten. Let's put it eight eight out of ten for now. I agree. I think there's something really special about this one. Uh, I don't know how it ties in with Ecuador. Hey, let's read the actual description. Wine sap apple. What the hell is wine sap apple? It sounds cool. I would try it. Unfortunately, it's a, a lighter roast, so I can't really do it with espresso. Um, I could, but it would be kind of hard to do. Honeydew, Barbados sugar. Very interesting. And so the flavor profile that it has is very different from a lot of other coffees. Where they'll say chocolate, toffee, brownie, caramel. Those are very basic coffee flavors if you read those you kind of know what you're getting into this i have no idea where this is going i imagine it'll be somewhat sour um i think ecuador is an eight out of ten okay here we go now we're getting back to their typical their kind of typical overarching uh design structure right so oop, didn't mean to bonk the mic there um the, we're back to the gradient very simple and we got a compass down here the color is unique right you don't see this color super often it's like between a green and a blue um i think it might just be like a six five and a half i think a five and a half is probably fair it might even be a five it looks like they really just got a black and white you think four you think it's that low hmm I think I think I'm gonna have to give it a little bit higher than a four because I don't think it's as bad as El Salvador where it was overwhelming um, I think I'm gonna give it a flat five it's not a five and a half it's not a five and a half it's too simple to be anything more than a five though is kind of my thinking simple is good but simple like this it, it feels uninspired they probably didn't even make the compass they probably just got a black and white image and super and like modified the colors basically like put the green over it uh it's weak it's pretty weak i might have to drop it down to a 4.5 because it's just they probably didn't even make the compass what's this one called focia i i think 4.5 is fair out of 10. i think that's pretty fair what's its flavors Milk chocolate, soapsy chocolate, it's back. How do you pronounce this? Penay Noir, something like that. Penay Noir. And chicory. I don't know I don't know what chicory is. Penay Noir is a type of wine. Right? 
Mm. Oh, that's the other one. A lot of a lot of um, coffees will use wine as a flavor profile, which is a little bit weird. I think this might be a very similar feeling image, right? It's got the color gradient, but I'm not as much of a fan of the color either. Oh, ooh, I don't like this one. I don't like this one. It has the same problem as the last, but the color's awful. Color's awful. Um, what's it called? For Haiti. Didn't they have another Haiti in here? Maybe not. I think for Haiti, it's a weak color. 3.5, I, I think it's worse than, um, I think it's worse than Lion. Or not Lion, uh, El Salvador. And I don't even know what this is. It looks like it's something of a coffee bean, mountains, uh, I don't know what this is. What's going on down here? I think it's uninspired. Solid 4 out of 10, 4 out of 10, 3.5 out of 10. I think it's, I think it's even 3.5 because, and it's hard to mess up a good color. But I'm, I don't like the, it's like a dirty lime. It's like a dirty lime green color coming through. Mm, I think it's 3.5. I would have preferred it, I think, if this image wasn't even here. I think if it was just gradient, I think it would have been better. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm sticking with 3.5. I think, yeah, see, so I definitely prefer this, this color over the last one and that's why this one gets a full point higher oh this is interesting this is an interesting one look how low the gradient is compared to the others yeah it looks like baby shit yeah no kidding no kidding look how low this this gradient is that's so interesting compared to the last well this is i really like this one actually um mm, i like it okay i like it i don't really like it but I, I'm a fan I like the low gradient because what it is what makes it special kind of is it feels like the gradient is now a part of this woman's life like she has the, the Sun rising behind her right I think that's very cool I think that's very cool what they did there and all of this can be just white it doesn't have to be anything special because the art here and the, the gradient, the sunrise feel, makes it special. And she's looking at a coffee bean. I don't know if you can tell because it might be a little small on your screen. She's looking at a coffee bean. She's got kind of a gray hair, unless that's some sort of head covering. Um, this is a strong one. This is definitely strong. I think I'm going to have to go with a... Hmm maybe a seven seven and a half seven and a half is good okay seven and a half is a solid score um it's not like it's a c grade that's a really strong score as a seven and a half mm, it's hard to go between seven and a half or eight i think i'm gonna stick with seven and a half we can we can come back though and we'll start comparing the other ones after we finish this up like, like, we can compare between them to hone in our our evaluations. But, yeah, I like this one. And I like how there's no facial features either. I like how it's just the outline of, like, the profile. And then the coffee bean. The coffee bean's a nice touch. Okay, back to the standards. We got Monaco. I like the color again. I like the color. I like the color more than Fosia. Uh, that I actually even like the design a little bit. It feels like it was stamped. It feels like it was stamped onto the package. I think it's a six. I think it's a six. Um, because you you know this is a pattern that they actually made. This isn't something like the compass that they just slapped on and colored over this i think this is something they made and each this is interesting each diamond or shape here 
also has a gradient. So they went gradient overboard with this one. I think it's a six. I think it's a six. All right, we're getting to the lower end of the list. Oh, I'm excited to review Java. Whoa, this is not what I was expecting. Wait a second. Whoa, this one is way crazy. I wish I could zoom in more and see. There's a lot going on in this. This is very cool. So they do have a little bit of a gradient here, but they also have, what is going on? Nine and a half out of 10. I It's gonna be up there. It's gonna be up there. This is very creative. I don't know what this is. Man, I wish I could see it more clearly. That's the pro. Oh, it's also decaffeinated. So it's not something I would ever buy, but it looks really cool. That one is amazing. I agree. I think there's something special about this one. Okay, this is a little bit easier to see because it's a little bit light. This is very dark. This is a little bit more exposed so I can see more of what's going on. What do you think the black dots represent or what they are? At first I thought maybe it was a like a like a globe being opened up like a map of the world. I don't think it's a map of the world. I like these scratch marks. It's very like space vibe. It's a space vibe without being too dark. So that's something that's very hard to to create. Because when you think space you think black night sky and it does have black but it has dots of black so this is very interesting i think it's a nine or i don't think it's a 9.5 there's it's kind of hard to see i think that's the biggest problem if the, if it was a little bit lighter i think it would be even higher it might it might actually hit the 9.5 i think it's a nine I think it's a nine it could be an 8.5 would 8.5 be the highest rating i shouldn't look at these i should just base it off this i think i think we're gonna go with 8.5 because it feels a little hard to see what's actually going on in this darkness because i there's even stuff going on down in this point but i can't really make it out so it seems like a small oversight on their part i think i'm gonna give it an 8.5 8.5 is the highest. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, we have to get the name. Honduras. Yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a, I'm a big fan. It's a, it's a shame it's decaffeinated. <laughs> I wish it was uh, not decaffeinated. Uh, Java? Okay, this one's uh, near and dear to me because as a programmer, I've worked with Java many times. Mm, okay, so this is kind of a unique one in that it has an image, but I'm not resonating very much with the image. Um, the colors are dark. Blue is clearly the theme. Mm. It might be a five. It might be a five. You know, it, I tend to like the, the images. You know, you can look at the scores and see that I'm a fan of the images. But no, I don't think this one's doing it for me. Perhaps it's too much blue going on down here of just flat blue. And too much of this kind of flat light blue. Even though there's this dude drawn here, it does have a little bit of a background, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to go with five. I would have preferred instead of this, um if perhaps it's stretched or Somehow this character took up more space and had a little bit more going on with him. I just think he's a little uninspired. So I, I think we, I think it's a fine five. I think it's fine. I mean, at some point I do have to be a little bit um, critical of images as well. Even though I like seeing them, uh, I have to accept that there can be weak images. We already did... Oh, these are products recently viewed. Okay. Let's go over to page two. Okay. Blue. I already know with this one. I already know I'm going to have to go with a, uh, with like a 6.5 or a 6. I think it's a 6.
And the reason I think it's a six is because, it, yes, it is blue, right? Um, very simple. It does have, does it even have a gradient here? It does have a gradient, right? It does have a gradient. Can we find a more clear picture? I like this picture a little bit more because it's got more stuff going on. And leaves, right? The leaves are actually pretty nice. I actually quite like the leaves. They could have been a little darker. They could have been a little darker just so it could stand out from the background. Playing Batman the Enemy Within. I, I don't know that game, but have a lot of fun. Thanks for checking out the stream. I really appreciate it. Uh, definitely enjoy your game. And I'll see you around. I'll be streaming more recently. So, yeah, just hop on whenever. I, I always appreciate it. Have a good one. See ya. Mm, the le yeah, I think the leaves, or maybe a different color, because it kind of just feels like a darker color of the gradient. It may have been nice if it was a slightly different color and a little bit darker, just to stand out some more. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a six out of ten. So it's good. It's it's good. You two, I'll hop on when I can. I got you. Thanks, I really appreciate it, dude. Have a good one. Um, a two-pack. Okay. Okay, so we've already reviewed Honduras. So why don't we review Monte Carlo? Hmm. The moon is nice. The moon is nice. Let's go to... Hey, why do the decaffeinated ones always have the really cool um, art design? What's up with that? Who designed these? Somebody who drinks decaf, clearly. A decaf lover. Mm. Yeah, Monte Carlo. I like it. I'm, I'm a fan. I like how the moon also has a gradient. It's simple. Even with something like this, it could have been the moon was imposed on the image and then they just gradiented over it or put the gradient behind it. Um, but I think they did it better in this one. Maybe the detail on the moon is what makes it stand out. It makes it feel a little bit special. Um, it could be a six and a half, six point five. I'm thinking kind of a six point five. 6.5 out of 10. I think that's fair. It, it's definitely not as nice as the, um, the Honduras. The, the Honduras was special. Let's actually go back to it right over here. This is special. It's got great colors. It's got great detail. The lines are interesting. It still has a little bit of gradient. Yeah, big fan. Big fan of uh, the Honduras. Okay, we already got blue, we got Corsica. We didn't get Rouge. What's this one called? Okay, just Rouge and blue. Here's Rouge. Did we get Rouge? It's the, oh no. Oh no, it's a reskin. But, but, so it's the same as blue, wait. See, the leaves are exactly the same, but the red shows up much better in Rouge then it doesn't blue, right? These leaves are kind of boring. These red leaves are interesting. I think it's, yeah, look, there's no gradient. It's just the leaves. That was a smart move. Remember, cause I was talking about how the gradient makes these leaves harder to see. This was a smart move. Just remove the gradient and the leaves will pop. And that's exactly what they did. So I'm actually, I prefer this one to blue. So I'm actually gonna give it a 6.5. They, I think they noticed that there was a color problem with blue. Definitely. Should I give it a whole point higher? Should it be a seven? I think it might be a seven. It really has fall fall atmosphere doesn't it is that what it was going for what flavors does it have what does it say in the description 
Small but strong organic coffee industry is heating up. We're committed to helping it grow. Made entirely with organic certified coffees from Ethiopia, Honduras, Nicaragua, Peru. Seasonal medium roast with sophisticated sweetness of currants. Interesting. Mm. Cherry, caramel, apple. Okay, very fruity. I think it's a, I think it's a seven. I think it's a seven out of ten. It's hard to be decisive with some of these, especially with this reskin. We know it's higher than blue, but how much higher? Right. All right. So we got Rouge. We got Monte Carlo. We got both of these. Next ones. This is new. Afrique. Oh, this might have the same problem as El Salvador. Uh oh. It's also not symmetrical. Um, it's almost symmetrical, but all the elephants are facing one way, which is uh, I don't know. This is this is gonna be a tough. This is gonna be a tough one. Uh, you gotta be careful with the reds too. Mm. I think I think it might be a four. It might be a four. They're doing the gradient again. The gradient's tight. I like gradients, but no, this I don't think this one is doing it for me. I think it's a four. This one's hard to describe too. It's got it's the patterns again. I think I'm not a fan of the the diamonds showing up. Elephants are cool. I actually like the elephants. I wish they were more symmetrical. Oh, look at this poof. Look at this guy over here. Get back where you were, you poof. There. Um, I think it's the elephants, or the uh, the patterns that are throwing me off. And the color I'm not too fond of. It's a little, it's almost a little too red. I think we're gonna go with a four. Rouge, okay, we got rouge. Louisiana. Hey, wow, we've almost filled up this entire, uh, hold on. There's some bugs I wanted to deal with. You know what? I'm not a fan of the color. Oh, it is going to bold this. That's right. Could probably make these a little bit smaller, too. For visibility sake. We can get them all on the same page. That'd be nice. There are, is it still visible on your screen? It is. Okay. Yeah, I don't like the color. I also don't really like the gate very much. Although the their symbol their dove in the gate is, is a nice touch it is a nice touch uh the color really messes with it i think it might be a 4.5 green pepper that's really interesting mm. earthy brew really weird color I don't know. I think it's a 4.5. And this isn't just a color review. The gate is kind of... I'm not a fan. Uh, 4.5 is fair to me. Uh, I, I do like the dove in the center, but it's not going to win me over. I like the low gradient here. Oh, actually, I really like the color scheme. I like the red and blue red and blue contrasting i think i think when people hear about it they think oh that sounds like it won't work out very well i actually really like how this works out and i like diamond is whatever right the diamond is whatever but the color of the diamond is very nice on this yellow backdrop i think it might be a seven because at least here they were bold enough to to mix up the color scheme instead of sticking with one color and just using 
different levels of that color. This one, they're really using different colors. I think I think they should be congratulated and celebrated for mixing it up, being bold enough to change it up. And it works, it works for them. So this one's Brazil. <laughs> and I think it should be a seven. I think it should be a seven. It, it's simple, but it's, it's unique in comparison with all their other arts. Mm, yeah, it feels light too. Feels like I'm looking at the sun. I like that one. A uh, quick review. Whoa. A church? Hmm. My It's a little it's a little weird, isn't it? That the church would be on this box of coffee. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. It could just be me. But the fact that they have a church seems a little bit odd to me. Can I turn this light up a little bit more? Would that help? Let's try changing the exposure just a tad. Uh, I'm talking about my green screen. It's being a little bit weird. You can see how it's flickering in the back a little bit. We can, we can fix it slightly though. That shouldn't be a problem. We just have to configure the video a little bit more. That's not going to do it. Let's do this and... I actually like that warmer light balance like that, but it's, it's not enough just changing that. Let's try turning the exposure up. That's way too bright. Or maybe that's not too bright. Maybe we can work with this. So we click yes. My my face is obviously too bright. But w this will be in chroma key. Now we'll go into to fix it. I feel like my stream is literally me just fixing chroma key. How's that? A little warm. I'm a little bit warm. Hmm. A little overexposed. A little overexposed too. You're right. Good call. Let's see if we can change that. Make me a little darker. We can actually play with the brightness as well. Let's try that. Oh, here we go. Let's try that. That looks pretty good, actually. That looks good, right? And there's no there's no flickering over here either. So that works. We can do this. We can we can work with this. Mm, yeah. So we were talking about Columbia. Hmm. I do like the color scheme. I'm a fan of the color scheme, but I don't know how about the church. I feel like I would even prefer it if it didn't have the church structure there. Not that I'm a church hater, you know, I'm not like a, what's, what's the name of that scientist that's like a hater of religion? I'm not like him, but it just feels a little bit out of place. Let's go with, maybe this one needs a placeholder for right now. It might need a placeholder. Mm. I don't know. It's such a this is such a hard one. This is a hard one. Let's give it a six. It looks nice. It looks nice enough. I'm gonna go a six out of ten. Cause I like I also like the background. I like clouds in my images. It makes it feel lighthearted. Which I guess is what they were going for, because look, it's a it's a lighter roast. Jeez, they have a lot of coffees. Fishtown. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how... I, the map is too plain, I think, in the background. Kind of cool. 
It's cool how they show where it is. This showing where it's made. Philadelphia neighborhood that's home to our flagship cafe. Fishtown seasonal blend has bright fruit flavors and ample balance. If this is Long Island, doesn't it kind of look like Long Island? And then New York would be up here. Oh no, Long Island's pointing down, isn't it? No, it's, it's pointing up like that. Whatever. We, we won't try to guess where it is. I'm just not so much of a fan. I'm not crazy about it. I think it might get a 5. I do like how this, the uh, border for Fishtown, is a little bit uh, darker. Like yellow. I also like the name. I think it's a cool name. But I think it's going to ha have to get a 5. There's not enough going on down here. It's just a map. There's not even a gradient. Bucktown. Another town. This is different. This is like an image that they're using. Very different. It feels very metro, doesn't it? It's also dealing with a bridge. Very interesting. Super metro. Let's see what it says in the description. Neighborhood surrounding Chicago cafes. So it is supposed to feel metro, metropolitan, see? Definitely work to their favor. Definitely work to their favor. I'm going to give it a 6.5. Out of 10. Yeah, I like it. I think, I don't, well, I don't know what's going to, on down here, really. What is this? It's not supposed to be a boat, is it? I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking at over here. Is it a coffee bean? Floating in the water? Kind of hard to tell. Mm. Yeah, I really don't know. That being said, I do like it. I think 6.5 is fair. Frogtown. Okay. I, I had to check to see if... It was the same as Fishtown, but no, it's different. Dude biking. This one's complex. There's a lot going on here. The colors are great. The colors are great. I like, I really like the yellow mixed with the pink. I think that's a great move. The road is very clearly defined. There's no problem with distinguishing the background from the foreground. So that's good on its part. This tree is a little bit um, invisible. It's kind of hard to notice. It's the color in between this this background and this road, which makes it not stand out very much, but it's also the same color almost as Frogtown. So it's actually got a lot going for it, and the biker is very cool. Maybe a little bit, um, hmm. It, maybe it doesn't go with the theme very well of the warm colors. It just, it feels a little too realistic almost. It feels a little bit too realistic. Um, but we could give them a lot of work went into this. You can tell. This might be a six. Could be a six. I think it's over engineered. I think that's what's going on. I think that's what's going on in my head. Is there's too much going on you notice the first things I picked up on were the gradients and the color choice well that's such a big decision in in how the image feels but then when you bring in the road and the biker I think the biker stands out a little bit strange too I think it's a, I think it's a six let's make these a little smaller I would like for them to all fit on one page preferably Missed. Oops. Oh, look, it's based off of a real street. Wow, that's really cool. That's very cool. First West Coast Roastery. 
Yeah, so it's not like a it's not like a real small town chain, but it is technically local to my area. So you still get the freshest beans when you order from here. Uh, that's very that was a that was a hard one. That was a hard one to choose from. Um, we got all of these. We got all of these. Hey, we're done. We hit everything. We hit everything they have here. Hey, we should average these up and see what they come to. If it comes out to a five, I'd be very happy with that. If it came out to like between a five and a six on average, then I think I did a good job reviewing them. You notice how there is nothing lower than, nothing lower than a 3.5? What was the 3.5 for Haiti? Man, I must have really hated that one. Mm. Yeah, I really didn't like this one. The color was all off. Ecuador was great. Ecuador was a great, great feeling uh, coffee. Yeah, we should average them all up. Okay. Let's open up a, um, a calculator. Mm, okay. So 7.5 plus 8 plus 5 plus 4.5 plus 6.5 plus 7 plus 4 plus 8 plus 4.5 plus 3.5 this is too much math plus 7.5 plus 6 8.5 plus 5 plus 6 plus 6.5 plus 7 Plus four, plus four point five, plus seven, plus six, plus five, plus six point five, plus six equals 144 and how many do we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four so what is it oh the bugs back bugs back bug snacks did i get him i don't think i got him Okay, 144 divided by, what was it, 24? It was 24. Divided by 24 equals 6. Okay, so 6 is the average. Which I guess kind of makes sense since um, I think the art is in, in general greater than like an average art would be for a company. I think it's a solid 6. Hey, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with those reviews. Mm, I can live with that. I did not like Lion. Lion's an awful... It's not awful. It's just not very good. There's nothing interesting about this art. Winter Toast is awesome. I'm a big fan of the border. Mm. Right now, basically what I'm doing is I'm going over everything... I'm seeing if anything stands out as weird in my review. Mm. We got these pyramids. What one was this? Guatemala. This one was kind of hard to review as well. Yeah, I think I think five is probably a fair rating for it. I like I did like the colors, but I, it felt like a little bit too much between the red, the yellow, and the blue. I gave this a pretty good grade, didn't I? Yeah, because it's simple, but the pattern's unique enough. It's honeycomb, but it's simple. Yeah, I think we're going to stop there. 
Uh, good review. Hey, that was pretty hard. Must be hard being a reviewer. Um, I mean, we did go through a lot of different, re you know, we had a lot of stuff to review. But cool, we, uh, we have an outcome. So, what are the winners? For the top three, we have, where was the 8.5? Honduras. Whoops. We got Honduras. We have Ecuador. And we have Corsica. Right, those are all the eights. So here's the here's the real question. What's better? Ecuador or Corsica? That was a hard decision. The Ecuador was the bridge. And Corsica was this one. Which I was a big look at the layers. Look at the layers. Look at the gradient for each layer. There's a lot going on in this one. It's it, this is a great cover. Ecuador is the one that gave me the Barney vibes or Thomas vibes. This this is also a great image. This one's great. Um, we can make them. Why don't we make them tie for a second? No, we can't have them tie. I, th I think Corsica comes out a little bit on top because it uses their design choice like optimally. So there was a general theme throughout most of the coffees and Corsica uses this theme but it elevates it. Whereas Ecuador, although it was beautiful, and simple and had great colors it didn't use the theme so it stepped outside of its its um, basically intended art design so that it could hit the 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 values that it wanted to hit with the color and the design and the shape and the symmetry but it didn't follow those rules so it's gonna be evaluated differently than a lot of the other coffees in this um in this reveal so i think i'm gonna have to put corsica right above it honduras also stepped outside but honduras had gradients um it also sort of followed the rules let's look at honduras one more time before we call it i mean honduras was a great design great design it was second page, right? Maybe it was first page. It must have been first page. Yeah, I guess overall there wasn't so much on the second. Here's Honduras. Yeah, I went right past. So it is using the gradient, but there's so much going on down here. I just wish I could see it a little bit more. I wish I could see it a little bit more. It's beautiful, though. Absolutely beautiful. Nice. Nice. 